Hey everybody, Ali from Potent Primals here. So this is going to be my second video on Griff's Automatically Extending Bat from Back to the Future Part 2. And yes, all your questions will be answered. Alright, so in this episode, we're going to start breaking stuff to see how strong the bat is. But first, let's get into a look of how the bat actually works and all of its internals. So in the previous video, I talked about how the telescoping section of the bat works. So if you haven't seen that video, I definitely recommend going to check it out. I'll leave a link in the description down below. All right, now it's time to get you guys some answers. So the thing that's powering the bat and allowing it to open automatically is, as some of you correctly guessed, a gas spring. So gas springs are found all over the place in real life, from office chairs to hatchbacks and trunks of vehicles. So think about it. You're able to open this very large piece of metal, usually with one hand on a vehicle, with you know, little force, and it's basically a pair of these that are usually applying the additional force that allow, allow you to do that so easily. Okay, so what the heck is a gas spring? Well, it's basically a sealed metal cylinder, right here, that has a piston that can slide in and out while maintaining the seal, and the metal cylinder is filled with a compressed gas. So because it's filled with that compressed gas, the default state for the gas spring is with the piston extended. Now, when you compress the piston, it compress, further compresses the gas inside the metal cylinder, and that exerts a force on the piston. So basically, when you compress the piston, if you don't apply any counteracting force to hold it in place, the compressed gas is just going to shoot it right back out again. So the other key part about this design deals with the latching of the gas spring. Basically, how do we overcome the 25-pound force of this specific gas spring in order to be able to keep it keep the piston in and keep the bat compressed. And the way we deal with that is with magnets. So basically there are four locations of magnets in the bat. There are two sets on the handle and two sets in the telescoping section. So the first pair of magnets, or two of the four locations that I mentioned, deal with keeping the bat compressed. So they basically have to overcome the 25 pound force that is always wanting to keep the, the gas spring open. So that first ring is right here around the ring on the handle, and there's a corresponding ring all the way at the bottom of the largest section of the telescoping part. So when the bat is compressed, these two pairs meet, latch together, and provide enough force to overcome the gas spring wanting to open, and they hold the bat closed. The final pair of magnets deal with latching the bottom two sections of the telescoping bat in place. So one of those locations is right here on the perimeter of the handle and the other one is on the perimeter of the bottommost section of the telescoping part. And this means when the bat is fully extended those two pairs meet, click together, and provide a force to hold the bottom two sections of the telescoping part in place. Otherwise they would just kind of flop around. So that's how the bat works. But now, there's something that we need to take care of. What did you call me, Griff? <sighs> I feel much better now. So for testing the bat, I went about it in two ways. The first is, I just wanted to see how it operated as a bat. So I ramped up from hitting a wiffle ball, to a tennis ball, to a golf ball, to a baseball. And in the second part, I started smashing a bunch of stuff. Lacker. And again, I ramped up from easier things to more difficult things. So, here's that footage, enjoy. Batter up!
all I've got for this build. In general, I've been really happy with how the bat came out. It's quite strong, really robust, and the telescoping action works great. And I hope you guys have enjoyed these series of videos as much as I have. Be sure to check out the other content on my channel, and hit that subscribe button if you want to see the other exciting projects that I have coming out. I'll see you guys next time.